At the 8th Russia-China International Exhibition in Turkey, Russia made a bold statement by unveiling the GTD-11 Trausidur M, the first high-efficiency gas turbine developed by Rostec, capable of powering entire cities or aircraft fleets with up to 36% efficiency, this technological marvel marks a major step forward in energy innovation. But beyond its industrial potential, can this turbine spark new advances in aerospace propulsion? And why is its public debut in China such a strategic and symbolic milestone? Let's find out. Russia's heavy dependence on Western large-capacity gas turbines stems largely from geopolitical and industrial changes following the collapse of the Soviet Union. During the Soviet era, large-scale gas turbine production was strategically distributed across the Soviet republics, with major facilities such as the Nikolaev Zorya Mashproekt plant in Ukraine responsible for turbine production, including for the Russian Navy. The Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, or RSFSR for short, focused more on aircraft engine production than gas turbines. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia lost direct access to this Ukraine-based turbine manufacturing capacity, disrupting its ability to independently produce and maintain advanced naval and power generation equipment. Efforts to develop domestic gas turbines, such as the GTD-11 Nornsiwans, throughout the 1990s, encountered significant technical challenges and childhood disease, leading to delays and sometimes cancellations. As a result, Russia increasingly turned to importing turbines from the West, particularly from Siemens and other European manufacturers, to meet its domestic energy needs. This approach provided economic benefits and accelerated the deployment of power capacity, but created a strategic vulnerability. Following the 2014 Crimea crisis and subsequent sanctions restricting turbine exports to Russia, Moscow shifted its priorities to energy independence and began restoring domestic turbine manufacturing capacity. Companies like Rybinsk's ODK Saturn have finally overcome initial technical hurdles and begun mass-producing improved turbines with higher efficiency and lighter weight, while Power Machines is simultaneously developing new turbine models like the GTS-170 with a large engineering team. This renewed focus on domestic turbine production is part of a broader government-led initiative since 2018 to increase Russia's energy security, reduce import dependence, and maintain key industrial capabilities. The legacy of Soviet industrial geography coupled with subsequent political economic disruptions and technical challenges in turbine development has shaped Russia's complex path to regaining turbine self-sufficiency, highlighting the complex interplay of historical, technological, and geopolitical factors that underpin the country's energy infrastructure. By 2024, the GTD 11C1UM will have entered mass production with the initial plan to produce two turbines per year, marking a significant step towards replacing imported turbines. So, what is special about the GTD 11UM gas turbine? Remember to click the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any information. The GTD 11M is an advanced single-shaft gas turbine developed domestically by Russia's UEC Saturn to replace previously imported high-power turbines. It delivers around 110 to 118 megawatts of shaft power, with an electrical output of around 110 megawatts, achieving a thermal efficiency of around 36%. The turbine operates at 3,000 RPM and is designed for use in gas turbine power plants and combined cycle configurations. In addition, its fuel flexibility allows it to run on natural gas, petroleum gas, and liquid fuels such as kerosene and diesel. The turbine's fuel consumption is around $23,000 to 2,800 kilograms per hour, depending on the fuel type, with exhaust gases reaching temperatures of around 517 degrees Celsius and a flow rate of nearly 362 kilograms per second. Measuring approximately 7.1 meters long, 3.7 meters wide, and 4.3 meters high, with a weight of approximately 58 to 60 tons, it is significantly lighter and more compact 
than comparable foreign turbines. Technically, this gas turbine is equipped with a 15-stage high-pressure compressor with variable inlet guide vanes, a tubular combustor with 20 flame tubes, and a four-stage high-pressure turbine directly driving the generator shaft. The GTD testing process is rigorous, including 72 hours of continuous operation at maximum load, confirming the performance and reliability parameters under real grid conditions. The first unit was installed at the Udarnaya Combined Thermal Power Plant in the Krasnodar region, Russia's most advanced combined cycle facility. This challenging testing process involved overcoming sanctions restrictions with a significant use of additive manufacturing technologies to produce over 1,500 components per year, thereby enhancing manufacturing and design flexibility. Plans are underway to increase production capacity aiming for four turbines per year, which underscores the role of the GTD 11CBU-M in strengthening Russia's energy independence by replacing high-power foreign turbines with an advanced efficient and space-saving domestic solution. In short, this gas turbine is a testament to Russia's technical prowess in gas turbine technology, combining compact size fuel efficiency and powerful power output, all thoroughly validated through extensive field testing to meet Russia's strategic energy needs while overcoming Western technological limitations. It is important to clarify that the GTD-1 Wanjiwamaduem is not an aero engine, nor is it designed to provide propulsion for aircraft like the turbofan engines used in commercial or military aviation. Its purpose is solely for stationary power generation, primarily in combined cycle power plants and industrial compressor systems. Therefore, any claims that it will revolutionize the aviation industry remain highly speculative and lack a concrete technical basis. To date, there have been no announcements or verifiable data to show that the GTD-110M meets the thrust-to-weight ratio dimensions or performance metrics required for an aircraft propulsion system. Furthermore, key operational details, including reliability, Maintenance cycles, service life, and overall cost-effectiveness remain largely unknown, making it difficult to fully assess its competitiveness or long-term viability. So why is this turbine attracting so much attention? Much of the attention surrounding the GTD-1, 1V, 1V REM, can be traced to Russia's current geopolitical and economic landscape. With Western sanctions cutting off access to high-efficiency turbines from Siemens GE and Alstom Technological Independence has become a national priority. The GTD-110M, developed domestically by Rostec and UEC, is seen as a strategic achievement, a clear step towards self-sufficiency in energy infrastructure. Another driver is its compact design, which is said to be lighter and more compact than its Western counterparts. This offers practical advantages in power plant construction, transportation, and installation logistics, potentially reducing costs and improving operational flexibility. Ultimately, this turbine represents more than just an energy solution. It represents national resilience, industrial progress, and the pursuit of technological sovereignty. If the program delivers on its promise, its primary impact will remain in the energy sector bolstering grid stability, supporting industrial growth, and facilitating infrastructure expansion. The development and replication of this indigenous turbine technology will enhance Russia's technological independence and resilience, paving the way for future large-capacity industrial gas turbines. While the turbine itself will not directly impact the aviation industry, the technological and technological advances it represents could indirectly spur innovations that will benefit aerospace propulsion and hybrid sur-electric aircraft engines in the long term. The combination of practical energy solutions and the potential for this technology to spread is the source of genuine excitement, as well as vague expectations about its broader future impact. Could improvements from the GTD-1-1-1 Freedom one day shape the aircraft engines of the future? Leave a comment below. The gas turbine is a major step forward in Russia's efforts to achieve energy independence and industrial recovery, but its impact on aviation remains far from certain.
Designed to generate stationary power rather than fly, it operates on very different engineering principles than an aircraft engine. Jet engines require extremely high thrust-to-weight ratios, compact dimensions, lightweight materials, and the ability to operate reliably under rapidly changing pressures and temperatures. Conditions far beyond the capabilities of a ground-based turbine. Developing an aviation engine also requires years of research testing and certification, along with advanced alloys, precision manufacturing, and safety validation. These hurdles combined with ongoing sanctions that limit access to key materials and technologies make any near-term aviation applications highly unlikely. Despite this, the gas turbine remains a technological achievement of national importance. Developed entirely in Russia, after Western suppliers such as Siemens GE and Alstom withdrew their cooperation, the turbine strengthens the country's energy security by ensuring a stable and efficient domestic electricity supply. Its compact design and high fuel efficiency allow for flexible deployment at thermal power plants, enhancing grid stability and minimizing the risk of power outages that can disrupt industrial activity transport networks and public services. This reliability supports both regional development and economic stability across the country. In addition to energy generation, it reflects a broader shift towards technological sovereignty and industrial modernization. Advanced materials, manufacturing methods, and control systems developed through this program could later benefit other high-tech sectors, including aerospace defense, and next-generation propulsion systems. While unlikely to revolutionize aviation in the near future, the technical knowledge gained could influence smaller propulsion systems for drones, hybrid aircraft, or unmanned aerial vehicles. Additionally, by expanding domestic power capacity turbines like the GTD-1, one UM could accelerate the development of infrastructure for electric vehicles, and hybrid power systems contributing to a cleaner and more diverse energy ecosystem. Ultimately, the GTD-11 Wernz CB is not just a symbol of technical success, but also an embodiment of Russia's strategy to promote self-sufficiency, energy stability, and long-term industrial strength. It will take many years to realize its full potential, but if its development momentum continues, it could reshape Russia's role in both domestic and global energy markets, with ripple effects that could spread even if only indirectly into the skies. The video ends here. Thank you for staying until the end. Goodbye and see you again on the next journey of discovery.